CCR has just performed a service on this AMV8. This particular AMV8 is an auto uh, for a gentleman up in Derby. And um, it came to us a few years ago for us to complete a restoration. So this included respray and uh, body rebuild, welding, and a half partial retrim. We retrimmed the front seats on this only. Uh, the rear seats were okay. So um, just taking it for a quick drive now. Full service included all the fluids, back axle, gearbox, engine, uh, lead the brakes. And these AMV8s are so smooth. They originally on the uh, fuel injection, but a lot of they were then converted over to the four Webers. Uh, they performed very well on that. And the actual auto box on these is, is very good. Um, it's actually quite smooth and suits the car. Um, doesn't have the multiple gears of the modern boxes where they've got eight speeds. This is only a three speed, but uh, overall as a package, it, it works very well. This particular car went back to the factory in the 80s and had a body, body upgrade. So we got the flick tail, bonnet scoop, air dam, creating essentially the Oscar India look. And uh, it looks absolutely stunning. We do a full forte service that would include everything the body service making sure drain holes are clear all the lights and wipers are working obviously all the fluids brakes take the drums up off and then checking things such as your power steering making sure there's no fluid inside the rack boots so very very thorough and including all fulcrum points on the suspension grease etc so we're quite well known for these uh, amv8s got a lot of them at any one point we got a lot of these in the workshops um, I love driving these. A lot more room in here than the DB5s and 6s. Much more modern feel to the car. A um, lot more space overall. Easier to get in and out of if you're a bigger chap. Um, and they're really sort of found, finding favour now. For many years in the doldrums being, they've really come up in value over the last decade. And a lot of these being restored and looked after and being used for events. So they're always still very rare. Don't see many on the road. Very rare to see them on the road. The restoration process on this particular car took about two years from start to finish. The car came to us as an incomplete project from another company. These projects always take a little bit longer if we've not dismantled the car, missing parts, etc. So we made the client aware of that before it came to us and created a project plan and um, worked very closely with him to uh, get the vehicle exactly as he wants. Um, he'd owned the car actually for some a great number of years since the early 90s. So. Uh, it's a car that meant a lot to him and he was very pleased to see it come back on the road and for him to enjoy it for the summer after being off the road for such a long time. Always pleasing to get those projects right right for people and, uh, and to hear how they use the car during the summer. 